Hola, this is Sebastian from socialanxietysolutions.com and I'm a former social anxiety disorder sufferer and a social confidence coach and I've been helping socially anxious clients overcome their social anxiety for the past nine years. And in these videos, I uh, give some tips, sometimes long tips, sometimes quick tips. This week, I'm going to do a quick tip. So I'm trying to, I'm going to keep this under two minutes. All right, here we go. So uh, one thing that uh, my clients sometimes struggle with is the feeling and the belief Oh, I can't overcome my social anxiety. Well, why do they have that belief? Well, often because they've tried a whole bunch of things and nothing worked. So if you start looking for solutions for social anxiety and you're told that certain way is the only way because that's the scientifically proven to be effective way uh, and you try it, so you know, you forcefully face your fears, you change your thoughts, you're mindful, and still you're not able to get any results. You, know, you might face your fears, you get some confidence, but you can't keep up with it because you're not addressing the root cause, the actual emotional problem that is causing the social anxiety in the first place. Then you might eventually give up and, and then you go like, wow, I just cannot do this. This is too hard, this is too difficult, it's not working for me, I'm too tough of a case. The one thing that I've been promised uh, to work that is the solution doesn't work for me. All right, you know, it doesn't work for me. I can't overcome it. Now that can be as, that can be traumatic in and of itself because it's such a big disappointment and such a damper on your uh, on your motivation. So it, that can really hit you hard. But if that's you, I just want to talk to you and say, hey not all approaches are the same. There are more ways that lead to Rome, as the old saying goes, okay? Um, I have a particular approach, and I'm not even saying that that's the only one. In fact, I know several approaches to get there. You know, there actually are many approaches to get there. So, you know, that's one thing. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that I wanna say is like, when you're taking a cognitive behavioral approach, to an emotional problem, you're gonna not get the results that you want, okay? So social anxiety is more of an emotional problem. You can't logic yourself out of your social anxiety. If you could, you wouldn't be watching this video, all right? No amount of logic is gonna tell your brain, is, is you know, your brain is perceiving danger. And you can tell yourself, oh, everything's fine. Oh, they're not assholes. Oh, it doesn't matter if I get rejected. Oh, embarrassment, I'll overcome it. Um, I'm actually a good person. You know, I love myself. All of those things, yeah, you can say them and it might calm you down a tiny bit, if that, it might just do the opposite. Um, you can't logic yourself out of that. And I know that you wanna you know, change your automatic negative thinking on purpose and repeat them over time to yourself at home and, and so on and have a very cognitive approach to it. But you're not addressing the emotions that keep you stuck, right? So it's the emotional pull that you can't overcome with mere logic. And so it makes a lot of sense that you're struggling to get over your anxiety completely. And if you look at the statistics, for um, for the most well-known approach to deal with social anxiety, because it's not overcome your social anxiety, then you'll see that you're not alone in not succeeding at this. Okay, so take heart. There are different approaches, and you know if you haven't succeeded at that, not um, you know not every approach works for every person. So simply try something else. Keep trying and eventually you'll find something that actually starts to work for you very, very well. Same thing if you try what I suggest to you and it isn't working, all right, great, try something else. Keep trying until you find something that does work, all right? And uh, like I said, there are many ways that lead to Rome, all right? And what I do wanna say, if you try something, give it a committed try. You know, what I promote a lot um, is, is tapping, EFT, emotional freedom techniques, psychological ver version of acupuncture that deals with the emotional problem that you're dealing with, 
you know, it's a technique to rapidly release stuck negative emotions. So the perception of danger that is there, you know, you're in a social situation and you're afraid, oh no, I'm gonna get rejected. You have a fear response, which is emotion, that you're gonna get rejected. Because when you get rejected, you feel hurt, you feel pain, you feel embarrassment, you feel shame. And that's emotional. So you're having a super sensitive uh, reaction to rejection because you've been rejected in the past and it was pain. And that these painful, emotionally painful experiences are still alive in your brain. They haven't been processed. And so with tapping, you can process these experiences. You can release those emotions so that your hypersensitivity of rejection restores itself and goes back to normal. Okay, there's a reason why you're so hypersensitive to rejection. You've had it in the past so many times that you're, you know, you, it's like you're having a, a bruised knee. You've fallen onto your knee and it's still really bruised and someone can just touch it lightly and you go, ah, and you're afraid, you know, to walk on it properly because you might bump into something and you're careful around people because, you know, what if they touch your knee? You're going to suffer so badly. Whereas if you heal those past experiences of the rejection, you know, you heal your knee, then the big bruises on your knee are gone and your knee is restored to its normal level of sensitivity. And then someone can tap on your knee and you're like, okay, you want my attention? What's up? You know, then it's not so much of a problem anymore. All right. So if you, um, do uh, if you decide to do some of this tapping that I recommend, and I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel, um, and I uh, offer you a free starter kit on my uh, website where you get 10 videos, five of them I teach you how to do it, another five I guide you through some experience of it so you feel your emotions actually shifting in your body. If you've never felt that, that's an amazing experience because you notice like, wow, I can actually control my emotions with this. It is a very empowering thing to experience. You can get that at socialanxietysolutions.com. Click the link below this video. Anyway, if you try some of this, give it a committed try. Don't give it a half-ass try. It's like, oh, I'll tap along with one video now. I'll, I'll see how that goes. There is so much more to it to overcome your social anxiety than to just tap along with a video. I'm running an online community now uh, it's not open for registration, but we're, we're going through this, uh, we're going through these different modules to overcome our social anxiety. And we're three months in and we're doing tapping exercises every single day to gradually chip away at this problem of social anxiety and uh, so that you can actually get to a place where you're free of it, where it doesn't bother you anymore. All right. But because you've been dealing with it for a long time, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time to unwire, to release those traumas, to get rid of the repetitive negative experiences from early childhood, to deal with the um, beliefs that cause the perception that you're in danger, to restore your normal sense of uh, sensitivity when it comes to rejection or embarrassing yourself or being criticized uh, and so on, to get you to a place where you don't take yourself so seriously anymore because uh, it's nice to say, oh, I don't take myself so seriously, but to really emotionally have that, you know, to bring yourself to a place where you're solid, where you're grounded, where you're at ease, where you're comfortable with yourself, where you can take a joke and uh, where you freely speak your mind. And then you can connect with people, right? So if you've been anxious for a long period of time, it's a big problem in your life because it attaches itself to so many different areas. Doesn't it then make sense that it's going to take some time to undo that problem, to rewire these automatic programs in your brain? But it can be done and it's not difficult. It just requires this silly technique uh, um, done in the right way, aimed at the right targets um, and a bunch of persistence. But you can do it, you know? And what's the alternative? Sticking with social anxiety for the rest of your life? You know, is that what you want? You know, so there's a lot more to this that I can say in like a, a, a quick video, but I just want to point out if you're going to try something, give it a committed go and keep going until you're, uh, until you're free. You know, 
I started the tapping and it didn't work for me, but I had seen uh, so many videos of people making transformations. I bought the EFT DVD set. Go and buy that, you know, uh, the original DVD set with, uh, with Gary Craig. You see him working with people with a variety of issues, public speaking, low self-esteem, fear of flying, uh, you, know, you name it, uh, war trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder, and you would see, I saw people make those transformations, so I knew it was for real, so I kept going and eventually I ended up working with a practitioner. So I invested money and then I worked with another practitioner and another practitioner. I started seeing results, but just a bit of results, right? So keep going, keep trying. There is something that works for you. All right, that's the final message. I said I was gonna keep it under two minutes, but I got a bit carried away, sorry about that. All right. So I'll uh, release these videos every Thursday. You can subscribe here and I do a podcast as well on which I have interviewed, I think over, at least over 50 psychologists, coaches, psychologists, I just said psychologists, psychotherapists, uh, PhDs, MDs, doctors, a doctor is an MD, man, I'm on a roll. Um, best-selling authors, researchers, whatever. Whole bunch of amazing people uh, for their best social anxiety, secrets, solutions, insights, perspectives. Uh, when you start listening to that podcast, you're gonna feel a lot more better about your, uh, about your situation because you'll realize, wow, this is not just this dude on YouTube you know, saying that this is uh, the real deal and everything. These are qualified people with um, you know, accolades and you know, qualifications and all that kind of stuff that are parroting what this guy is saying. Uh, that's also a reason why I'm interviewing them. It, it, <laughs> it solidifies what I'm trying to convince you of, okay? So you're gonna feel really inspired listening to those. All right, so that's that. Hope it's been helpful. Every Thursday I release a video like this and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.